Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I instantly dragged Smalls out of bed and that's why she's trying to get ready right now because I found a great deal on Facebook Marketplace that started off as a wee lot and it turned into a little bit more for a total of $80. I'm not gonna try to do any spoilers. As you know, we're already on our way right now to go and pick up or meet this guy. I think it's about like a 25 minute drive. We'll catch you there. Garage sale season, baby. Garage sale season's coming up. Hopefully we'll be doing a lot more garage sale season content. I'm looking to get a little bit of a clip this year to finally be able to put the GoPro up on my chest as I go around and go, go garage sale hunting, basically. So regardless, we got about 25 minutes. We'll catch you there at the pickup. No. No. We're pulling into Fleet Farm. That's uh, today's pickup, and I just got a message. Okay, he said he's here. Yeah, hang on. I'm gonna pass the camera to you. Okay, first off, this guy threw in a PS2 for free, and it wasn't an Xbox One. It was actually two Xbox 360s, which I'm okay with, but this is the Halo edition. Ooh. Yeah, really cool. No, all of it's here. Like Mario Party 8, oh, Super Monkey Ball. Oh, dude, this is, this is crazy. Okay, hang on a second. Oh yeah, okay, so there's our Super Mario Bros. It's missing, oh no. Might be in the Wii though. And honestly, I'm not too worried about it. It's honestly a good enough deal as it is. So, Wii Sports though is in here. How's this looking? Oh, that's actually really minty. Okay, that makes up for it, honestly. Now the best part is though, we're gonna have to go home and see if there's any mystery games in the PS2 or the Xbox, which we might run into a problem if there's no power cords but there's always sometimes the potential that there's like an extra game that he forgot to pull out, which will be pretty exciting. And this is a good deal. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> Alrighty. Game one, Smalls, catch you back at home without burping. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a huge Nintendo deal that is about to go down. I forgot to charge my GoPro, so I gotta make this quick. But before we get into anything, I wanna say a huge and personal thank you and shout out as well to Collector's Luck. I'm gonna display his channel right now on the screen if you guys are watching. He actually helped me secure this deal over Marketplace, kind of worked together to basically make this happen. So I got $180 in the wallet, we're ready to go. I got a 57 minute drive to go grab this boy. So it's kind of a little bit out there, but honestly, it's worth it. I'm not gonna go into full detail, but it's totally worth it. Once again, thank you, homie, if you're watching for hooking me up and making this deal happen with me. 180 bucks, let's go and grab it, stay tuned. That. Yeah. And there's a, everything's in there. This thing. Does it still have the cardboard or the the cardboard, but the um styrofoam in there? No, not in here. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, that's totally fine. So it's just the box. So okay. So it's the box. And I plugged in the games. Now the games in here all chirped and lit up and and play the jingle. These games all wanted to blink on and off. I thought maybe I needed to hook something else up. I didn't okay. know what. That's cool. So anyway, these, I kept them separate. So those all lit up and looked like they're ready to go. I yeah. didn't know how to play it, so I didn't. <laughs> no, that's totally fine. Well, I know there could have been a second this morning. Maybe there was a battery in here that needed it. I don't know. It, yeah, I got a buddy, and that's what I'm doing. I'm actually just sending him a quick little video. He fixes them. That's kind of his pastime, and it's kind of funny because, so the other day, I actually just picked up a uh, 1981 Pac-Man arcade cabinet. Oh, you did? Yeah, so <laughs> I got a big collection I'm working oh, on, so okay. that's why that one's kind of funny. So, and were these the... These are the ones that oh, they're up with a full screen and look oh, like they're ready. Oh, okay, there, so there's some more in there. Okay, cool. So... Financial services, getting to know you always comes first. 
We got it. <laughs> we got it. There's no styrofoam, unfortunately, but I'll do a little bit of a breakdown, and I promise I won't miss the breakdown when I get back home. So. 180 bucks. So just a quick little overlay um, is I always usually forget to do a proper ending to these videos before I kind of go through everything. I just try to avoid a death pile of inventory. But the first clip that you're kind, kind of seeing here of the uh, Super Mario Bros, Metroid, uh, Spider-Man, all those titles are pretty much ones that I've decided to save. What are you doing? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> I think she's actually tearing this bag up here. Give me that. The next pile is the titles that I have actually currently sold. So this video was taken prior to the sale. I send these video games up to a place um, a little bit north of me, or actually quite a bit north, called Mobile Game World. I pretty much bundled off all of these with a lot of the Wii games that you saw earlier, and that's why I don't have a proper clip to kind of display everything. But coming up here in a few seconds, I will basically have a few sold comps of some of the better titles that I listed on eBay for sale, like the Mario Party 8, the Super Mario Bros, and and the Nintendo Wii, Wii Sports. Those all went for the current prices that you're seeing here on eBay and pretty much everything, like I said, was bundled off and sent to Mobile Game World up north. They came, um, pretty much paid me $440 for everything, which was easy profit. And then on top of it, I am currently most likely going to keep the Nintendo that you're seeing here on screen. And if I do decide to part with it, it's gonna be strictly for investment purposes to basically invest into getting more of my Pokemon cards graded with CGC and speak Speaking of that, there will be a CGC video hopefully coming out within the next two weeks or less where I will finally get my graded cards come or you know coming back to the house from a previous video which will be up on screen right now if you guys haven't seen that yet. So that pretty much wraps up today's pickup from the two that you saw in the video of the gigantic lot right at the beginning and then a huge thank you once again to my buddy Jordan for helping me with that Nintendo lot. Let me know what you guys think down below. Hopefully I can do a little bit better of a ending to these videos as I you know kind of move on here in the future. I've just been trying to avoid getting a gigantic death pile as garage sale season has been coming up and I want to move and process as much inventory as I possibly can and sometimes I kind of forget to do a proper showcase for the end. end of these videos but regardless thank you guys for watching if you're new to the channel my name is dylan also known as rolling retro hit that subscribe button and the like button and please share this if you like this content uh pretty much video game pickups building an ebay store and collecting is what this channel is focused on so if that appeals to you thank you guys for watching i will catch all of you guys in the next episode